some Wawa subs for dinner. Wawa subs for dinner. Got my order here, two sandwiches. I'm gonna see if there's any good delicious sides or anything, maybe a little treat. Sarah's making mac and cheese for when we get home, but I just wanna get a little kicker maybe. Ooh, like these waffle fries, because Sarah denied the waffle fries yesterday. Here we go, here we go, got the subs, got some chips, it's gonna be so delicious. So it kind of worked out that we went to Wawa for dinner because I don't know if you know this, but Wawa's do free t air for your tires. And for some reason, like two days ago, we got a low tire warning on our tires, which is strange because we have brand new tires like two, two and a half, maybe three months ago. So we definitely should not be getting that. So I'm gonna keep it on it, but there wasn't like one, I couldn't tell which one it was. There was like one in 25 when it should be closer to 4550 PSI. And I filled that one up and it still said it was low. And the other ones were at like 35, which is still lower than it should be. But I don't know what the number is to like set off the sensor, but none of them looked crazy, but I'll just have to keep an eye on it. But not time to go home. Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. Your daily vlogs, if you like this video, come back tomorrow. He just walked in the door, I haven't seen him all day. Sarah's to my plant, smells like dirty towel. <laughs> it just has an aroma. <laughs> oh gosh, wait, look. So Sarah's working the uh, burn on the midnight candle wax or whatever they say. And uh, more to come. <laughs> more to come later about that, I think. But I'm enjoying a wedding from watching the Gilmores, Luke's sister, and TJ. Liz. Liz and TJ are getting married. Renaissance style. I've never been to the Renaissance Fair and I think Sarah... Sarah, have you ever been to the Renaissance Fair? Yes. Oh, I've never been to the Renaissance Fair. There's one here in Orlando. I think we should go because I feel like I would love it. I had to stand up because Luke and Lorelai are about to dance. They're dancing right now. Sarah, they're dancing. I'm dancing. They're dancing. I'm dancing. You're dancing. Because I finished my job. Woo! Where are we going to go tonight? Look at them dance. Look at them dance. Crazy. It is raining like crazy. Is it a stay at home? I think like, we need to talk off camera. Oh no! This episode was heart wrenching just now because it solidified that I don't like Dean. But it. I love Luke and Lorelai. I love them. What's, hmm. what's the scowl for? I don't know, are we staying home? I think we are. We're staying we home, We want to go to a million o'clock movie. It's already 8.20. Peter wants to go to a 10.45 movie. But it's too late, I understand that. But if I go running now, we could. But it's too late. Tomorrow's a late night anyway. Sarah and I are gonna split this Pepsi and eat some Oreos. Cause it's looking like a night in. I still have to go on like a longer run today, but at least can save my energy until then. I have a special hiding spot for the cookies so Eve doesn't get them because she's a scoundrel for the cookies. Aren't you? You and me and kiss? I remember. And it was Told you. Unexpected. So we are staying home. Which is good. We're gonna relax, watch more Gilmore Girls. Got that laptop out because Well, my glasses almost we're gonna start searching for in a serious fashion where we should live next. With a babe. With a babe. Two bedroom, one bath, two bedroom, two bath. Or we might look for a couch. Because we need a new couch. Can't lay on a couch with this a baby. This couch is not This couch nice. is not nice is the best As way I can put it. Garbanzo. Garbanzo beans also. Garbanzo beans, garbanzo, and not the best. We need a new couch and we need a new place to live. Winter Garden, Winter Park, Williamsburg, or Celebration. Two thousand years later. So after, no. <laughs> after a good hour and a half of searching, it'll be easy to find a couch. We've been looking for apartments and so far no luck. Emailed some places, put some posts on the Facebooks, checked Craigslist, checked all the websites. Nothing like, yet, but the like market's the housing quick. housing down here is so quick and that like, we just have to like look every day I think. Yeah, I think so too. Because new stuff pops up every day. But it's 10 10 and I'm sitting here like I don't have to go run seven miles. <laughs> what so. should I do while you're gone? Watch more Gilmore Girls.
but I'm gonna go get ready and change. Sarah just found two solid, <laughs> one's a duplex, one's a house for rent. So she's gonna try to get in touch with them tomorrow. I sent a message to one, the other one I'm call. gonna just call. Yeah. Do you think it would help to be like, hey, we put every day of our lives, so if you're worried about our behaviors, our <laughs> actions, just check out our 700 videos on YouTube. We're really nice people. Right, do we tell people that or do they get worried that like their house that they're renting out is gonna be on the internet? I don't know. I don't know, it's not like we like truly put I don't want to say where we are, but like the inside of their the place they own right. that we rent will be on there. I know both of these places. I'm like excited about. They're both so good, and they're not too too far. They're both or like too too expensive. Yeah, or too too expensive like, and good space. Mm -hmm. And it's cool when like it is a house or a townhouse because you're typically dealing with a person instead of like a management company. Our second apartment was like that, and it was like super low key. So wish us luck. <laughs> Or if you have any realtors in the Orlando area, I have to go run. I'll be back at midnight. I never even told you guys I'm feeling much better. I only took one Tylenol. You didn't even tell me that. I know. I didn't take one during the day. And I have been taking like two at a time. I've been taking like six a day. So I feel, I feel good. I'm still mad at Rory and Dean. So I'm going to go <laughs> run my angers out. But I'm all about this Lucas and Lorelai. Luke and Lorelai. Here we are, back at the gym, back at this treadmill, by myself today, no one's here. Um, gotta do it, just gotta get on a hit start, I guess. We have more laundry to fold, so I'm gonna do that, put the laundry that Peter folded the other day away, and I'm gonna do a time lapse of me doing it as an homage to the bugs, because I feel like when I first started watching them, that I thought that that was like, their signature thing was like time lapses, folding laundry, eating dinner, um, cleaning up, and stuff like that, and I always just really liked it. So, this is an homage to our pals. <laughs> I'll really go to bed before Peter goes gets home or not but um, we did have some questions about the study that I wanted to talk about um, some people had asked if we're still like if we're still within the parameters of the study or if it's over and we still are a part of it like it's still going on um, the progesterone medication I'm on now following the IVF cycle that's part of the study um, with the study, I'll get three ultrasounds before moving on to a normal baby doctor. Not a normal, but like I'll graduate from my specialist. But with the, um, the study, I'll have three ultrasounds and before that three blood tests to see that everything is looking good. Um, and then they will check in with us when the baby is born and then they'll check in after a year after the baby is born. So they kind of like get the data to see what kinds of babies the study medicine produced. So we're still like in it with the study. It's just not as intense with them all the time. I do have a journal that I'm still marking when I take the progesterone, but yeah, we're still very much so a part of it. The study itself is actually winding down. They're not taking new um, patients for it so we will still be in contact with them with our nurses and whatnot throughout the process of you know fingers crossed everything looks good after this um this two week waiting period all right so here we are my watch says seven miles that's a 6.99 but i think we're fine there um a little sweaty did a little slower than I had been, but I've been trying to work on my heart rate. That's not my heart rate. I was rocking like a 166 most of the time, which was much better heart control than what I usually do. Time to clean this machine up, and then I gotta get back. Why don't I even know what time it is? There's no clock in here. I think it's midnight about. But I'll clean this up, walk back to our apartment, take a shower, and get ready for tomorrow. We're doing a moonlight magic if we haven't said that. Today is the 17th. It is our nephew Grant's fourth birthday. So say happy birthday, Grant. 
he was so cute on FaceTime earlier. He's like, I want to see your basement. I want to see your bed. He's like, I want to see Eve's eyes. We don't have a basement because we live in an apartment. But he was like, I gave him a whole apartment tour. So today's is by Susie Kasim. Kasim? Doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Check it out. Hokey, hokey, pokey. Check it out. Hokey, hokey, pokey. Hokey, pokey time, USA. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh, 1693, Spookalicious, Bat Midler, you old goat. Alright, seven miles done. The goal is either to wake up early and run three miles, or rush home after work and run three miles before Moonlight Magic at Animal Kingdom. My hair looks crazy. Eve is Pony. half asleep. That's her snoring. So she's snoring with her eyes open. I got lots of comments responded to. Thanks. You're welcome. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>